there's been a lot of talk about big data over the past year or so. And I guess that really begs the question, what exactly is big data? Well, here's how, how we think of it at ESG. Data becomes big data when the data set sizes exceed the boundaries and sizes of normal processing capabilities, forcing you to take a non-traditional approach. Now on the storage side of things, data set sizes can exceed the boundaries on multiple fronts. You can have data sets with an exceedingly large number of random IOs, or with really big multiple gigabyte file sizes, or you could just be storing and managing a massive amount of data. To be fair, traditional storage systems actually can handle these environments, but at a cost. For instance, to handle lots and lots of data may mean having lots and lots of traditional scale-up storage systems to handle the capacity and throughput requirements. Because with big data, you've exceeded the physical boundaries of capacity or performance that these individual systems were designed to support. And at an average utilization rate in the 55% range, that ends up being a lot of footprint, energy, and management time dedicated to empty spinning disks. Or maybe to handle lots of streaming data may mean ha having lots of short stroke drives and spending time laying out files appropriately to get enough bandwidth. And again, you face the problem of footprint, energy cost, and management time going to lots of empty spinning disks. But if you take a non-traditional approach and you use scale out storage, you can handle big data much more efficiently in a single scalable system. You know, big data used to be relegated to specific industries like you know, industries that are content heavy, like media and entertainment, life sciences, manufacturing and design. But now we're seeing big data hit the enterprise. And in fact, when we asked over 400 IT pros with responsibility for their storage environments just what their biggest challenges are, the top answer was rapid growth and management of unstructured data. And of course, there's a lot of challenges that go hand in hand with storing the volume of data that IT is asked to handle today. And that's clearly what's evident on this list that I'm showing you right now. What we hear from IT is that they're worried about issues like, how do I deal with the growth of unstructured data at an optimal cost? How can I maintain data protection at scale? What if I run out of floor space? How do I cost effectively automate the management and optimization of the infrastructure at scale? Now that's the very short list. It could go on to containing management costs, managing and optimizing data placement, reporting and analysis of storage usage. It ends up being a really long list. And you probably deal with a lot of these issues yourselves as big data emerges as a challenge in your environment. Because big data, it takes the challenges you already have in managing your unstructured data environment today, and it magnifies them. So let's take a look at what you should be thinking about in regards to your storage solution to support the next wave of enterprise IT, or rather, IT in a big data world. Now, one thing for sure, enterprise IT is looking to consolidate, virtualize, and share the environment. So to support big data in enterprise IT, you will need a system that scales, yet maintains a single system image, a scale-out platform. And of course, with consolidation and virtualization, you're going to have multiple virtual servers belonging to different applications, departments, or in the case of service providers, even different customers, all sharing your storage environment. And that really makes things like security, availability, and data protection that much more important. And if you have a hiccup in any of these areas, the effects are magnified because all of the users that are sharing the capacity in that virtual and cloud environment get affected by that hiccup. And because so many of these environments are virtualized, it's important to ensure your storage solution is integrated into the virtual environment to give you end-to-end -end visibility and control. So now let's talk about EMC Isilon. You've heard ESG refer to Isilon as the father of scale-out storage in the past. These solutions were really originally designed to target bleeding-edge application environments that had big data needs. And now that big data has moved into the enterprise, Isilon finds itself in a good position. Its latest release continues to build on enterprise features required to keep big, unstructured data environments secure, available, and up and running. Isilon has incorporated a number of new features, including secure isolation with authentication zones and role separation that ensure administration and data access are separated, key to providing security in multi-tenant environments. Data protection and recovery enhancements like faster and easier snap restores. Improved availability and disaster recovery with one-click failover and failback. Increased throughput and reduced latencies, improving performance for a wider range of enterprise scale-out use cases. And 
easy integration into virtual environments with support for both VASA, which is vSphere API for storage awareness, and VAAI, or vStorage APIs for array integration, as well as a new RESTful API to help you integrate with other management platforms. With this release, EMC Isilon is providing the type of storage platform that's required to meet the new requirements posed by big data in the enterprise. It addresses the security, availability, scalability, performance, and manageability challenges that come along with supporting lots of application environments from a single shared resource, where the ripple effects of a storage problem can be profound. Enterprises will need this type of scalability to efficiently move into the next generation of IT for applications such as large-scale file shares, home directories, archive, on-premise secure syncing and sharing, and big analytics. This new environment is going to be one that's built on big data.